It's Tuesday, December 17th, 2013. I'm Josh Lowenton, and today's episode is written, directed, and mocap by Shia LaBeouf. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Problems with your healthcare registration? Clippy can help. Former Microsoft Office executive Kurt Del Benny will take over as the leader of healthcare.gov. Though healthcare.gov is largely operational, getting a high-profile tech executive in charge is an important step towards getting it the rest of the way. Queen Bay is back, but one major retailer is swatting her away. Despite having the fastest selling album on iTunes ever, Target is refusing to sell Beyonce's new album. The company says the digital release of the album prior to the physical, quote, impacts demand and sales projections. Target is clearly severing strong ties with Beyonce. Her last studio album was offered as a Target exclusive with six extra tracks. The record is expected to see a wide release in physical form this Friday. And finally, after 20 years of ons and offs, the Sandman movie is finally happening. Actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt tweeted the news last night, confirming that the movie, based on Neil Gaiman's seminal The Sandman comics, is in the works yet again. Gordon-Levitt signed on to produce the film with Warner Brothers, while writer David Goyer will supervise the script, and Gaiman himself will executive produce. The success of the Sandman comics helped to solidify the position of DC's offshoot Vertigo Comics by outselling Superman and Batman in the mid-90s. Whether JGL will direct or star remains to be seen. And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, I return home to Capeside. Dawson is going to be stoked.